Hey, how's everybody doing this afternoon? I uh, I just want to give a quick update here. Uh, it's not that I, I haven't been posting because I don't want to post. It's because, uh, well, I don't have much to share. Uh, what you're viewing here are my uh, stack of inverters that will get put out in the solar barn. And uh, I'm actually going to take you out there and show you the progress of the solar barn. It's taken a very long time to get where it's at today. And uh, I'm going to try to to post more videos once this barn is actually done. It has taken an incredible amount of time, many months, to get this barn done so far. So I am going to show you the uh, these boxes here are all these MPP solar, 8,000 watt, 240 volt only uh, European units, and I'm going to be connecting these up to an isolation transformer. Um, additionally, I started to get some more of my uh, Apologies for the mess here. Um, I've got the contractors replacing all the steel in my building from a hailstorm. Uh, but I started to cut some of these pipes up. Um, and these are going to be the ground mount array that will go outside um, and go next to the solar barn. Um, I'm not using my, uh, my gyro stick today, so I apologize if the video is a little shaky. I'm going to do my best to keep things stable. Um, and it is windy, so... There's also that. This will be an awesome video. So uh, here you see the uh, beginnings of my solar barn. Um, the building is not yet done. I am waiting for just some final trim pieces and some final work to be done on the solar barn. And essentially what's going to happen is there'll be an east and west ground mounted array that go next to this building. Um, and there will be solar panels that go up on the roof segments of the building. So I'm going to take you up to the uh, to the barn so we can all get a look-see of kind of what's going on here and essentially where we're at is the contractor is just trying to finish off the few remaining trim pieces that he has left to do. Um, it's just kind of access to to materials these days is you know, kind of is what it is. So this has taken many 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 months to get where we're at so far. See over here in the, the corner, um, it's also missing some trim pieces. And we're missing the steel to finish off that top segment of the building. But yeah, this is going to be the solar barn. Um, this is where all the stuff will go. Ooh, there's some holes there. Um, and on this side of the barn, there'll be a ground mount that gets mounted in here. So as you're looking at the building, there will be a, uh, uh, should be pretty close to a contiguous array of solar panels that come all the way down to the ground and then that will happen on both sides so um, it's not that I don't want to create video content it's just that I didn't really have too much to share here um, same thing will happen on this side there'll be a panel or array of panels that come down off this side of the building so um, I'm also going to show you a clip a short clip of me uh, uh, getting those pipes cut up and put into order um, it was kind of an arduous process to work with those uh, 30, 32 foot long pipes. But yeah, so hopefully by uh, the next couple of weeks here I'll have some more content and we'll get started with the installation of the, uh, the panels here on the roof of this and start getting, uh, getting going with the ground mount arrays out here. So thanks for watching.